Hello and welcome to another video. And yes, we are doing another subscription box because I love these things. I love surprises though. And that's that's like exactly what you get with a subscription box. I don't know why I haven't been doing these for a very long time. And speaking of surprises, can we just say a quick little note to subscription box people? I love you, especially my Harry Potter subscription box people, but please, can we not be sending emails of spoilers of what's in the box? I do not need that. <laughs> I sign up for the magic and the mystery. You know what I'm saying? I want to open and see if I am thrilled or not so much. <laughs> I don't need an email telling me as I recently got what is in the box. Um, so I'm glad I did not look at it. It was not this subscription box, but I'm just putting that little note out there. You know what I'm saying? It's like an advent calendar where the back of the advent calendar shows you what's in it. We don't need that. I'm not going to buy that advent calendar. Okay, I already bought it. That's okay. That's my tangent. <laughs> so today's subscription box is Accio, AKA Magic Delivered. So we got Magic Delivered right here, Accio right here. I am not going to show you this side here because they put my address on it, um, but I did take my actual label off. So this is the bottom of the box here. And I will say I am wearing what is basically the theme of this box. Let me show you. It is, got a hair on it, it is from the small shop, I don't know why I'm standing like this, Lumos and Luster. You will have seen in previous videos that I have purchased from them before. And this sucker arrived today, the same day that this box arrived. And it is a sweatshirt of the burrow, and it says, it's not much, but it's home for the holidays. Because my friends, the theme of this box is holidays at the borough. So like I had to, it was just destiny. <laughs> and I will say also, this is my first Accio slash magic delivered box. So I'm excited by that as well. And I purchased it right before they were about to ship. So as soon as I saw it was holidays at the borough, I was like done ordered. <laughs> So here we are. Let's unbox this thing. I'm so excited because I'm actually getting one of these on my day off. So you are getting me real energized here. Let's take a look. Magic at the Burrow. I will also say thoughts that come to mind, Magic at the Burrow, Holidays at the Burrow, thoughts that come to mind to me are obviously the sweater. I mean, Ron gets it every year. We've got all of the kids. So something relating to the kids hopefully something Arthur related. I say this every time, gosh darn it, Arthur get some representation, please. Um, so I'm thinking something sweater related, anything that's like cozy, like I thought about maybe Christmas cards, I thought about maybe a candle, but let's find out and open this darn box. I'm so excited, let's get this in the shot here. Here we go, magic delivered. Okay, I don't know if they put their cheat sheet on top, let's find out here. I'm gonna show you, what have we got? Ooh, ooh, I see something knit. Okay, when I was thinking sweater, I was not thinking like a full on thing. So we're gonna see what it is. But what do we have? Do we have a cheat sheet? What is this? Oh, I'm excited. Okay, <laughs> what are you? Oh, so we have a recipe card. Molly recipe, okay. From the kitchen of Molly, recipe for Arthur's favorite gingerbread. And I will say I am vegan, but people, these things can be made vegan, no problemo, okay? I don't know why people think that's so complicated. And they turn out just as good, if not better. Hashtag just saying, okay? So anyway, that's the card. We've got a little recipe card right on the top there. Cool. I will probably, actually, I have plans to do gingerbread -y, Harry Potter gingerbread -y things um, probably next year, so I'm excited for that. What have we got next? Oh my goodness, what do we got, what do we got? Welcome home, is this a cheat sheet? Magic delivered spoiler card. I'm gonna set this aside over here. We don't need them spoilers like we talked about earlier. Okay, what's on top? Oh, this is funny. The reason this is funny, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, I see something that, okay, the reason that this is funny is because we were needing more, um, we were looking for a pot holder slash like oven mitt. I don't know, what, what is this, an oven mitt? And a lucky what we got. It is an oven mitt. Okay, let me take this out real quick. So here is the front of it. What have we got here? Candy canes, we've got the sweaters, we've got some butter beer. What is that, like an apple pie or something? 
I mean, this, again, I was expecting like cozy. This is cozy. I was expecting probably something like baking or cooking because I feel like I just think that when I think of like Molly Weasley or the burrow in general is just like uh, warmth and cooking and knitting or something like that. I don't know. And here's the back. So it's just like a silvery back and anything else on there? Oh my goodness, flower, that's cute. So we have an oven mitt or yeah, pot holder is more likely. The case, oh my goodness, what do we have? I see two knit things. Oh no, should I show you? No, you're just gonna wait and see, okay? We're gonna pull out the first one here. <gasps> what are we? Oh my God, I think I know what it is. Do you have any guesses what this is? I think it's a stocking. Let me open this. Oh my God, like duh, of course, a stocking. Look at this stocking. First of all, it's freaking long, which I mean, it feels very hot, Harry Potter-ish to me to be like huge enormous, okay? <laughs> like never ending goodness, you know what I'm saying? That's Harry Potter for ya. So we've got some chocolate frogs and mistletoe and an owl and the Ford Anglia. Here, let me show you on the bottom. And then what was at the top? Dragon, I assume that's a dragon unless that's supposed to be a phoenix. I'm gonna guess a dragon. And then we've got trees here. So there's the top, it's got the little hook. The side is the same, obviously, um, on both sides. We don't need this hair, Aubrey, <laughs> okay? That's a hefty one. Like whoever is getting this stocking is getting all the goods, okay? So that was the first knit item. I was really thinking knit stuff, but I wasn't sure if they were gonna like do that. <laughs> so let's pull out, I think, we're we gonna pull out the next one. Oh, I don't know. Oh, it's so fun in here. Okay, I'm gonna pull out the non-knit thing. What are you? It is an ornament. Ooh, okay. Here's what I'm seeing through here. Let's take a look-see inside. Oh, this is quite cute. It almost feels like a lantern, I would say. Here it is up close. So first off, I'm gonna, here, let me show you the top. So it is an ornament, so it's got a little ribbon. It says, Mad Unicorn Studios, limited collection. So it appears to be a collaboration. I have not heard of Mad Unicorn Studios, so I will be looking them up. I love when these boxes do collaborations. We have had, oh, I forget the company um, that LitJoy did, but I love seeing that because it, ex it exposes, <laughs> that sounds wrong. It gives exposure to small shops and I friggin' love that. So here it is up close. It is the burrow, like during obviously the snowy season, but it's like a frosty glass look. You can tell on the backside there. And then you have what I assume are probably the twin um, Weasley brothers, but Fred and George, but I'm guessing it could just be any which. It is freaking adorable. And I say that would go with our great hall um, vibe because we're doing a lot of golds on our great hall tree. So there you go. I thought it was a pin, but it's an ornament. I dig it. Cool. What's the next one? Okay, let's stick our little paw in here. I think I'm gonna grab the next knit thing. Ooh, we got some, we got some socks here. What do we say? Handmade with love by Mrs. M. Molly Weasley. And what is the letter? It's a G. You know what I'm confused by, not confused by, uh, curious by, so I'm assuming it's a G for um, George because we're representing maybe all of the kids. I'm trying to think what the other ones might represent. They just feel very Weasley-ish in general. Oh, look at that. I flipped it over. <laughs> so this one is an F for Fred and this side is a G for George. Adorbs, okay? I, yeah, I said it, <laughs> adorable. I love it. That's so, so cute. Because at first when I saw it and I saw it was a G, I was like, I wonder if other people are getting Fred. But no, we get both. Okay. We got us some socks and they are cozy and they are soft. I like that. I don't know how many items are supposed to be in here, but it feels like a lot. And I'll say it was like real packed, real packed to the brim there. Okay. We've got, oh my God, I'm dying. I'm dying right now. Okay. Before I die and move on to the thing under this, let's find out what this is. It says magic delivered. It is a box. What does the back say? <gasps> North Pole office, owl mail holiday, galleons, St. Nick approved. So here is the back and the front. 
it's got a weight to it. If I would guess, oh, look it, we got the Ford Anglia here. We've got some owls over here. What does this say? Perfect for all of your magical mail. Okay. I was going to guess coasters, like cup coasters, but this is mail related. <gasps> is this what I think it is? So hold on. Okay. It is. <gasps> oh my God. So if you will recall in one of the Christmas videos that we did, I will link a card here. We did Christmas cards. And when I did the Christmas cards that I was sending out, I had purchased an owl post stamp from an Etsy shop. I love it. I put it in the corner. It's adorable. It just makes it feel like owl post. They, they gave us stamps. I said Christmas cards, you guys. I said Christmas cards, but I wasn't thinking about stamps. Look at it. Airmail, North Pole office, airmail. And so you've got the Fort Anglia. I need to show you, okay, without it falling out. So you've got kind of a basic one, so you can do a to and from. So for gifts, airmail here. Ah! Errol. Oh, look. Oh my God. I like that it's very specific to the Weasley, which you would hope, to the Weasley, which you would hope. And they included um, an ink pad in here as well. That is freaking adorable. I love usable products. I like stuff that you're going to display too. Honestly, I like a mix. So um, yes, I like that. Okay, cool. What is next? All right. I about died when I saw this. What is it exactly? <gasps> what are you? Oh my God. Oh my God. I, okay. <laughs> I already feel like this is going to be my favorite item, like hands down. Are you freaking kidding me right now? I saw this and I thought it was a print. It is not a print. It is a puzzle. This is absolutely gorgeous. And I think I know who the illustrator is because art by Megan R. N. Adams. I would need to know their shop name. Oh my God, Accio exclusive. Let me freaking show you. <laughs> Can I just tell you, I don't always know if I'm gonna keep everything in subscription boxes. And I think that's the case for a lot of people. Without a shadow of a doubt, this is going in my puzzle collection. I, it's a puzzle, people. It is the burrow. Look at this gorgeous detail. It's reminding me of, um, what's the shop? Nutmeg, something in Nutmeg. There's some gorgeous burrow prints by that shop and they really remind me of this. So I'm gonna have to check. Maybe I'll put a note above if I'm right. If I'm not, I will put no note um, or link the shop down below. A dash of nutmeg. I think that's what the shop was called. But they have the most adorable burrow prints and I think Christmas cards. And they remind me of this illustration. I'm normally pretty good at recognizing an artist and their style of art. Look at Look at this. Okay, where's all the detail here? We've got the Weasley Brothers here. Oh my God, I'm dying. I'm not trying to be over dramatic. I love puzzles. Like we will probably be doing a, here's my entire puzzle collection. I literally talked to my husband about that because we have so many Harry Potter puzzles. I love puzzles. Does it get much cozier and Christmassier than this? We literally do a, a, a puzzle, a Harry Potter puzzle for Christmas every year. This is gorgeous. Oh my gosh. We've got the owls holding packages here. So we've got the two Weasley brothers here, the Ford Anglia. Actually, we've got all the brothers. Were they over there? No, I was just viewing it wrong. We have, who is that supposed to be? That's clearly Arthur and Molly. Look at Molly here. Oh my God. Here, let me just show it to you. I, if this for sure, it's got to be that artist, right? It's got to be. I do not want to like be name dropping the wrong artist, but it just, art, it reminds me of that. And I also, so it is a 500 piece puzzle. Look at that. We've got the dimensions there. And I'm a person that redoes puzzles. So I am so excited. This is perfect for Christmas. It is just Christmas all throughout this whole thing. I am completely enamored with this illustration. I really think this is the Dash and Nutmeg shop. I will look it up. Oh my God. I love this top item, hands down, hands down. All right, what have we got here? Oh my goodness. What are you, I think it's a shirt. Now I will say I'm pretty picky on shirts, but I picked a medium, which tends to be like, either pretty much fit me or be a little roomy, but it also would fit my husband. So what have we got here? We have Chudley. Okay, here, oh no, 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 no. It's a, here, here it is. <laughs> 
it's not a shirt. I think it is. Let me open it real quick. So what I think it is, it appears to be like a, no, I thought it was a drawstring bag. Well, it is, but I thought it was one of those like backpacks, which I'm not a huge fan of, but it's not. It's just a drawstring bag like that. I probably have my references wrong. Ah, I remembered now. Okay, so this is the Quidditch team that was Ron Weasley's favorite Quidditch team. I remember now, okay, that makes some sense with the imagery. <laughs> All right, and there's something inside. So what is inside? I'm gonna guess like a flag or something like that you would wave, maybe? Where are you? Is this a pillowcase? I think it's a pillowcase. <laughs> It's very, if, you, if you've learned anything about me, the color is very bright, very bright. Here we go. It's orange and it does seem to be a pillowcase. So I'm not like a huge Quidditch person. I like Quidditch, um, but I'm also not a huge sports person. So that could be the bias there, but there you go. No, here you go. <laughs> it is a pillowcase. That's very interesting inside. That makes sense. I mean, you're gonna cozy up like on a bed. All right, that has been a lot of items so far. Let's see what is next. What have we got? What have we got? I'm seeing, I think a similar pattern here. What have we got here? So I think this is the last item. What are you? Here is the design. Wait, what is that? What is this? I think it's kind of similar to the um, pot holder which makes me think if it's similar to the pot holder, is this an apron? Is this an apron? I was just telling my husband that I wanted a Harry Potter apron because <laughs> we gonna be doing some cooking videos, okay? Let's open it up. Oh my God, it is an apron. I'm gonna put it on right now. Oh, the buckle is not buckled. That's okay, we'll just hold it up. Look at it here, okay. Oh my God, <laughs> look at you. <sighs> Ooh. Okay, so here is the apron. Whoa, Aubrey. The red is a bit much to me. It really contrasts right there. <laughs> you know how I am about like about all of that, but um, I really like the pattern. It's very fun. It is a Harry Potter apron, which I was looking for. So there you go. I think I would have preferred this to be green, but I'm kind of a subtle girl as far as like references go. Like, there you go. Here's some up close. So very similar, like same pattern. So you've got them matching. Very, very cool. All right, I think that was the last, one. double check in. Okay, that was the last item in the box. Let's take a look. This is the cheat sheet. I think that's just sweet. Look at that. So let's see, we're heading to the borough for the holidays this year, and here's the list. So we have the stocking, confirmed, is for sure a stocking. Um, apron and pot holder. So the, the apron was on the bottom. So that's why like, you know, it wasn't with it. So it wasn't sure right away, uh, but they do go together. And that, ah, I was right, I was right, I was right. I'm skipping ahead. 500 piece puzzle illustrated by Dash of Nutmeg. I was right. Yes, I tell you, I know my artist, okay? Go check her stuff out. It is beautiful. If you think this is stunning, she has art prints of the burrow that are stunning, stunning. I have not purchased from her yet, but I will be, okay? She has Christmas cards. I just, I just love it. Um, so a lot of collaborations in this one. Very cool, I love collaborations because where was the other one? Um, the apron featuring lots of fun, magical images designed by Karen Leopold. Um, they link her information there. Like they link it, they link it on a piece of paper. <laughs> um, pillowcase, it is a full-size microfiber pillowcase. Da -da -da -da. Puzzle is from Dash and Nutmeg. We showed you the puzzle. Um, we showed you the pillowcase and it comes with a, like a case kind of <laughs> package. <laughs> Holiday stamp set. Um, yes, uh, please. Thank you. So cool. Ornament, really dug the ornament. Very, very sweet. And then recipe card that is somewhere in here. Recipe card. I do want like a proper like recipe card holder. I know some boxes have done it, but I'm a little picky and I don't remember which one. So I'll need to look them up. Um, I did not get the add-on. The add-on was a push start button cover. This magical car accessory is a great way to add some magic and invisibility to your drive. Well, you know what? It works out because I don't have a car. <laughs> it's how I can afford some of these things on my paycheck, okay? <laughs> 
with my galleons. So that is everything. I really enjoyed this. I think my favorite with out a shadow of a doubt and that's not to like throw shade at anything else but i love her artwork is this dash of nutmeg um collaboration puzzle are you freaking kidding me and then next up would probably be the stamp set love it love a useful item i love adding that harry potter flair to my christmas um items and then i really like the ornament quite a lot and then probably um, these Fred and George, it's like cutting it off there, Fred and George socks. Oh my God. So there you go. That was my first Accio box for a theme. The best first Accio box in my opinion, <laughs> as far as the theme goes, but as far as the items go as well, I really enjoyed this. Let me know down below, what was your favorite item? And what also was any of this Arthur related? Can we see more Arthur? How many times do I need to say it? I still love this. Loved it, loved it, loved it. And if something was an Arthur reference, do let me know. Um, but yeah, what was your favorite item? Let me know down below. And remember, my magical friends, to love what you love with everything that you have and keep making magic. And I'll see you next time. Bye.